In this video, we'll discuss respiratory failure. It causes different types of respiratory failures and the treatment. So what's respiratory failure? Respiratory failure is a decrease in oxygenation alone, that is PO2 less than 60 millimeters of mercury, or due to a combined decrease in oxygen, PO2 less than 60, and a decreased removal of carbon dioxide with an increased PCO2 of more than 50 MMHG. Respiratory failure is one of the most common reasons for ICU admission for the purpose of mechanical ventilation. In mechanical ventilation, the patient may be kept at a low tidal volume or at a high tidal volume. Compared to low tidal volume, high tidal volume is more dangerous. Because of high tidal volume induced by mechanical ventilation, stretching and over distension of already injured alveoli may further increase acute lung injury. So what's high tidal volume? High tidal volume has a tidal volume of 12 milliliter per kg of body weight and it has a 40% mortality. Whereas low tidal volume has a tidal volume of 6 milliliter per kg of body weight and has a mortality rate of 30%. Also, if CVP and pulmonary capillary wedge pressures are kept low, then it's associated with fewer days or less need of mechanical ventilation. Despite increased PCO2 and decreased PO2, patients have slow, shallow breathing breathing, drowsiness, coma, and hypotonia. In case where carbon dioxide causes vasodilatation, so cerebral vasodilatation causes increased CSF production leading to increased intracranial pressure and papilledema, and vasodilatation in other organs causes sweating and tachycardia. So in which organ increased carbon dioxide causes vasoconstriction? Increased carbon dioxide causes vasoconstriction in the pulmonary circuit. Also in respiratory failure there is hypertension due to sympathetic stimulation. So types of respiratory failure. Respiratory failure may be due to abnormalities in gas exchange process of the gases involved in respiration and number two abnormalities of the organs involved in respiration. So let's discuss abnormalities in gas involved in respiration. Type 1 failure. Failure to maintain adequate oxygenation that is hypoxemia without hypercapnia. In type 1 failure the carbon dioxide may be normal or decreased why because hypoxia stimulates respiration that blows off carbon dioxide and hypoxemia also causes polycythemia due to stimulation of erythropoiesis so it may be due to alveolar flooding or due to acute lung injury alveolar flooding may be due to pulmonary edema pneumonia or alveolar hemorrhages pulmonary edema may be due to cardiac failure volume overload or acute lung injury as in ARDS, Adult Respiratory Distress Syndrome, is shown as diffuse bilateral edema on the x-ray chest. It may be due to aspiration, atelectasis, drowning, pulmonary edema, pneumonia or sepsis and type 2 failure. Type 2 failure is failure to remove the carbon dioxide from the tissue. There is hypoxemia along with hypercapnia. In this condition PaO2 is less than 60 mmHg and PCO2 is more than 50 millimeters of mercury and pH is less than 7.2. 3, 5. Abnormalities of the organs involved in respiration. This respiratory failure may be due to lung failure, pump failure or ventilatory failure and number 3 cardiac failure. Lung failure is manifested by hypoxemia. We already discussed that and then the causes of hypercapnia. Causes of hypercapnic pump failure. So what's pump? Pump consists of the respiratory center, depression, neuromuscular junction disorders, chest wall disorders, and cardiac failure. The respiratory center depression may be due to drug overdose, brain stem injury, head injury, hypothyroidism, and sleep disorders. Neuromuscular junction disorder may be myasthenia gravis, Guillain-Barr syndrome, phrenic nerve injury and ALS that may cause respiratory failure. Chest wall disorders, respiratory muscle weakness, myopathy and fatigue and a cardiac failure. Types of overload in type 2 respiratory failure are increased resistance as occur in bronchospasm, decreased lung compliance as occur in alveolar edema, atelectasis and positive end expiratory pressure. Number 3, decreased chest wall compliance, pneumothorax, pleural effusion and abdominal distension. And number 4, in increased 
minute ventilation requirement as in pulmonary embolism and sepsis. The treatment of organ failure is treatment of the cause. Positive pressure ventilation with tight fitting mask decreases the need of endotracheal intubation. The type 3 respiratory failure. This is also known as perioperative respiratory failure. In perioperative respiratory failure, general anesthetics they decrease the functional residual capacity and functional residual capacity is the sum of expiratory reserve volume and residual volume. This leads to collapse of the dependent lung tissues. So in perioperative respiratory failure there is collapse of the depending lung tissue and it occurs due to atelectasis. Treatment of this type of respiratory failure is frequent changes in position, chest physiotherapy, upright positioning and control of incisional pain and type 4 respiratory failure. This occurs due to hypoperfusion of the respiratory muscle. The shock patients have pulmonary edema, coma, lactic acidosis and anemia. They develop type 4 respiratory failure. In these patients up to 40% of the cardiac output may be distributed to the respiratory muscles.